All right, hello. Just wanted to show off uh, my MX bike setup and stuff because I had about four hours I found the setup and I was able to really ride around the track and do pretty well. Now I have six and I'm pretty decent at the game, but by no means am I like a pro or whatever. But just wanted to show how it doesn't take a lot of time on this game to actually do well. So we're going to jump in and I'll show off my setup, which is really just... Uh, there's no suspension or anything, it's just changing it for the controller. But we're going to jump into um, this track because this was my best track. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump inside and we'll take a look at my setup once we get in here. And I don't know, I don't know much about this game, so I'll try to hit all the um, all the fields and attributes possible uh, that I possibly change. So. <coughs> um, so yeah, let's start on the input. Um, I'm not going to go over my controls, you guys can see that, but my direct lean, I use at 9%. I have no idea what rider right tracking is. Uh, I have that ticked. Um, but the lean, I have the linearity set to 125, uh, and the gain set to 82.5. Um, I think strength default, that's default, you can't even change that. Um, so these, these settings are huge, uh, to make your character or make your bike stable in corners because there are certain corners where if you're really like on a berm I can hold my left stick all the way over and the bike won't fall where the stock controls seem to do that a lot where you know you were you were barely moving the stick to ride around the track but I think this is very good um, and I can really like I can I can play this game you know and it, it in just four hours of learning um, I don't think I've changed anything throughout here Except for the front brake, I have a little bit of gain. Uh, rear brake, I think all that stock. Clutch is all stock. Rider front back is stock. And then rider lean. I thought I had a dead zone, but I guess I don't. Do I have a dead zone up here? I do not. So if you have a, uh, you know, your, if your controller's old or something, it'll get stuck. Um, like mine kind of did right there like it's stuck to the right a little bit so it might make my guy lean to the right so you can set a dead zone of like a few percent I don't know why I don't have that um, I don't even use the rider lean whenever I, I ride though but this should probably be like a little bit like one or two percent I'll leave it at that but it should be fine input 2 is just whatever your controls are there's nothing special in here so just making sure uh, your controls are set up 3's camera this is screen stuff, doesn't matter. Uh, audio. And then um, all these different things for just view. But this has nothing to do with the bike. Uh, but that's, that's what my setup is there. But the important ones are direct lean, gain, linearity. And of course, you can learn how these work by, you know, maxing it out uh, yeah, one way or another and just pick what fits for you. But yeah, we're going to jump into it. I haven't played today, so I don't know how well this is going to go. But I think I have the audio in the game super low at 1%, so I don't know if you guys can even hear it. But, but yeah, I only have, I mean, you saw I only have six hours on the game, and I'm not, like, struggling really to get around, so no prior experience on this game. I think my best time is like a 149 flat, um, which took a little while to get, but yeah, this track is really fun. The hardest thing I've seen on this track, or uh, on this game, is downhills, trying not to endo. I played the default Washugal that's in here, and uh, it was definitely a hard track, but this track doesn't have a lot of downhills, so you don't really need to worry about it, but, whoa. Not doing very well at the moment, but you just gotta make sure you you sit down and stand up a lot. And when you're sitting, you gotta lean forward in the corners, and it helps tremendously. But for for the most part, I'm still not playing this game like a normal dirt bike game where you're smashing the the walls of your left stick to turn. You're just holding it against. No, you're still kind of tapping, but on the really like right here, I'm still like tapping and being real careful. Um, 
It's not like a uh, an arcade game. But like there, I put my stick, my left stick to the wall. Like it, it's fine. It's not your dude's not gonna fall over. But um, on flat, it would. But like right here is an example. I'm all the way to the wall. So. some strange crashes but I'm gonna keep it rolling you know just showing you that like I'm just I'm just riding I mean as if it was an arcade game in a way like didn't have like sim has a insane learning curve and i think the big benefit of this game is that you don't have the crashes where you're you know seven or eight seconds of you can't do anything um in this game where you can reset instantly i think that's the big change where you can learn this game really fast over sim but make sure you use both brakes too i mean this isn't a tip video i'm just really showing my setup but definitely need both brakes it's kind of hard to find where to put your rear brake. Um, I use right bumper. Still don't like the shifting where you have to let off, because I let off and shift and it still doesn't do it sometimes, but I just haven't learned this game in that aspect. And I'm riding a 250 by the way, but I haven't done any other uh, settings, I haven't done anything else, so just what you guys saw. if I can actually do a good lap. But yeah, my headset's dying, so I actually have to end this video. Uh, I want to keep riding, but I'm probably done talking. So my headset will probably die again. But thanks for watching. Hopefully I can help some of you guys out. Because the setup is working pretty well for me. I don't know if my headset's dying or just the audio's so low. <laughs> I thought it was off, so I don't know what's going to happen. But. Try to do one more lap.
That's a weird crash. Thought I was gonna rail it. Ah, see, I tried to shift there, it didn't work. difficult. Dude's always wanting to fall. Also another strange crash. Hmm. Alright, well I'm going to end it there. I just wanted to show the setup and show that I can like not tiptoe around the track. Like I'm I'm trying to go, you know, really fast, uh, as an arcade game or anything else, so, yeah, thank you for watching, you guys have a great day.